This video will teach you how to connect an EC series analyzer to a PC and to communicate between IBMS and the analyzer. You will learn how to transfer test results from the analyzer to IBMS, transfer templates and test configurations for IBMS to the EC series analyzer, install new firmware and language files on your analyzer as well as synchronize with the activation server. The EC series analyzer needs first to be set up in communication mode. From the main menu, select con Connect to PC using keypad arrows and press the Enter key. Your analyzer will display USB connection waiting. Connect the USB cable between your analyzer and the PC. The analyzer screen should switch to USB connection active screen. This indicates that the analyzer is connected to your PC. Ignore any Windows error message asking to scan the removal disk or any other action taken by Windows to access the SD card disk in the analyzer. In any case, do not copy files or folders onto the SD card unless instructed by the Global Energies Innovations Technical Support. Now that the analyzer is connected to the PC, click on the transfer icon and select Analyzer Transfer from the menu. The Analyzer Transfer window will open. The window is divided into five tabs, Summary, Synchronize, Options and Features, Transfer to IVMS, Transfer to Analyzer, and Install Updates. On the left side, the list of analyzer connected to the PC is displayed according to their serial number. If more than one analyzer is connected, you can switch from one analyzer to another by selecting the analyzer serial number. The summary page lists the characteristics of the selected EC analyzer. In particular, you can review the installed firmware and language file. IVMS normally detects if automatically if new firmware or language files are available. If necessary, you can use the Check for Update button for forcing IVMS to look for any available updates. At the bottom of the Summary tab, the SD card space allocation is, look, is graphed. The Analyzer operation, Operating System reserves a space about 1 GB on the SD card as shown on the graph, but as observed here, there are still plenty of space for storing Analyzer data. The Synchronize Options and Feature tab is divided into two sections. The top section corresponds to synchronization between IBMS and the analyzer. You can transfer the inventory structure as defined in IBMS configuration on the analyzer. You can sync, synchronize state and temperature unit as well as set the analyzer time according to your PC clock. Select the option to be synchronized by checking the corresponding box and click on Synchronize Selected Option with Analyzer button. The bottom section is related to the activated features on the analyzer. For an EC1000, only impedance and voltage will be activated, while for an EC2000, both impedance, voltage, and sulfation and dryout would be activated. Additional analyzer features such as voltmeter or oscilloscope function will be listed here as well. If you have purchased new features for your analyzer or need to renew a lost feature, which can happen during a firmware update if the analyzer did not automatically register with the activation server, click on this button and, and IBMS will initiate the communication with the activation server over the internet, allowing the activation with features on the analyzer. In the Transfer to IBMS tab, you can select test results to be transferred from the analyzer to IBMS. Any test results already in IBMS's database will be indicated with existing, while any test results not already uploaded onto IBMS's database will be indicated with new. To transfer a test results in IBMS, check the corresponding box. To transfer all the test results of a string, check the box corresponding to the string. You can do the same for transferring all the test results of a site, a region, and a company. You can also use the bottom buttons to select everything or uncheck all the selected boxes. With this selection, when the selection is done, click the Transfer Selection to IBMS button. Once the transfer is complete, IVMS will indicate the status of the transfer as created for new test results, replaced if the test results are already in the database or other messages in function of the success of the transfer. A transfer to analyzer operates similar to the transfer to IBMS. You can select by checking the corresponding box which configuration templates includes quick test settings, 
alarm settings, battery type, and test settings to be transferred to the analyzer as well as string configuration. If the string configuration does not exist on the analyzer, it will be indicated with new in parentheses. Any string configurations existing in the analyzer will be indicated by the mention existing in parentheses. In particular, if you have adjusted the alarm or baseline value of one string, you will need to overwrite string configuration in your analyzer with the updated one for your future test. You can select or unselect all the templates and string configurations by using the buttons at the bottom of the screen. Once the selection is done, click Transfer Selection to Analyzer. A status on the transfer will be given similar to the transfer to IBM S. The Install Update tab is generally accessed automatically by IBM S when IBM S is performing firmware or language file updates automatically. In some situations, you might need to upload manually a firmware or language file. A manual update is initiated in two steps. First, browse the firmware or language files by clicking on the Browse button. A new window opens and you'll need to locate and select a file on your hard drive. Click the file to open. Click on the Install button to install a new firmware or language file. At this point, the manual installation is similar to an automated update. Acknowledge the window message. For a firmware update, do not remove the USB cable until the analyzer shuts down by itself. In the process of the firmware update, the unit reconnects to the IBM S to communicate with the activation server. If the unit does not turn off by itself, this generally happens if the communication with the activation server was not performed. You can eventually click on the Safely Disconnect button. This unit should shut down then by itself. In such a case, you might want to verify that all your analyzer features are activated by reconnecting your analyzer to IBM S. If the analyzer is indicated as ECXXXX in the summary table, you will need to have your I IBM S communicating with the activation server. The type of analyzer is indicated at the analyzer booting screen, and the active features can be reviewed by scrolling down the system profile access in the utility menu of the analyzer. Once you have finished the synchronization and transfer, click on the safely remove analyzer to disconnect the analyzer from the PC. The analyzer transfer windows will indicate that there are no analyzers connected. You can close the analyzer transfer window. This concludes our lesson on communicating between the analyzer and IBM S. Please visit Global Energy Innovations website or contact Global Energy Innovations if you need further information. Thank you.